Alright, what is Frosto here today? Um, we're gonna do a little tips and tricks video. So, hope you enjoy. So, just a word of notice I do not know how to edit, like, at all, because this channel is very new. So, please. Um. Don't get too mad, because very new to all of this. So, first thing that you want to do is, if you just start playing the game, you're going to have these guns. You're going to have all of these guns. You're not going to have these attachments, or the skins that I have, but you're going to have something relatively like this. So... First thing is you want to have you want to know what your attachments do. So let's pick a gun that I have a lot of kills on. So um, optics, it's really completely preference. Like really, no optic is better than another. It's really just preference. But yeah, and then with barrel, there's really two good attachments. That I would like consider kind of the best. They are compensator and muzzle brake. So what compensator does it reduces your horizontal recoil, so the gun like shakes a lot less when you shoot. And then muzzle brake it, re it reduces your vertical recoil, so it shakes less or it goes up less when you shoot. Muffler is also okay, but it just, like it says, no muzzle velocity lost, no cheap, or no sound masking, cheap homemade suppressor. So, it's basically just a suppressor, but it doesn't really nerf your damage at all. So, you can see with the suppressor on, I have the suppressor on right now, my damage goes down to 80. But with a muffler, it stays at 85. So, same. Um... But with snipers, like, you don't really need a barrel attachment. Then also, under barrel. So, like, grips and stuff. So, with grips, there's really three ones. But, again, they're different for different guns. But, I don't really like skeleton grip, folding grip, and stubby grip. So, what skeleton grip does, it, um just makes you zoom in, like, scoping faster. It increases your ADS time. And then with fold and grip, it reduces um, vertical recoil again. So if you want, like, a really low recoil gun, you can put muzzle brake and fold and grip. And then stubby grip, it says, what is this, a grip for ants? Smooths overall recoil. Rougher hip fire handling, but with reduced stab, but with reduced stability and reduced spread. It's really just like a little bit worse. Well, it's better for long range. So, yeah. And then ammo conversions. Yeah, ammo conversions. They're really not necessary. But what? I would say is, um, it's really just extra, it's like, you can get tracer lists or like this for the most, and, and then also for like an AR, you can get like, hollow point, which increases your, um, maximum damage a lot, but also decreases your minimum damage. Armor piercing, it helps you get more pen penetration. Tracerless, it just makes it a little bit like less seeable and super armor piercing more um yeah, whatever you call it. But that's basically the gist, the basics. You also wanna have you wanna pick a good gun. So guns that I would say you want to avoid are like well, it really is preference, but Certain guns are better for better maps, so like, like Mirage, that's a sniper map, Ravod, it's like a 
medium range sniper map. Suburbia, very um, CQC, very close quarters combat. And highway law, that's sniper and like medium range. So you want to choose the right guns for each map. So I think let's get into some movement tips and tricks now. So I'm going to spawn in. It is currently highway lot. One of the, well, basically W to walk forward, A to strafe left, D to strafe right, and then S, or S to walk backwards. Shift is very important and helps you sprint, but you have to combine it with one of these. So if you want to sprint forward, you press W and shift. Makes you sprint a little faster. And then if you want to like sprint left, you do A and shift. You can also combine them. So this is like W and A. Like you go in like a diagonal compared to just left or just forward. So the next um, most important thing is sliding. So what you do once you get sprinting down, which is pretty easy, you tap C and it gives you a little like more speed and as you get better at this like it'll start to slide cancel so you press shift to get out of the slide faster and then control just helps you lay down automatically it automatically puts you in the like laying down position so I'm gonna press this is if you double tap C like you kind of go from boom to boom and then with control you just automatically down so the next thing is jumping so it's pretty easy you just press the space bar everything right click right click um, is aim in or the aim button and then is or left click is the shoot button so then the next thing is super jumping. It's a little more complex, but it goes like that. So what you do, you press space, you jump. You have to be sprinting, by the way. And then press X while you're in the air. It's a little more complex, so you want to go boom. It helps you get on top of things faster, like this. Or... <laughs> one sec like that and then what I do I press or I aim in like a little bit like this so it it puts you in the standing up so if you don't do that you'll lay down when you land but then if you go or if you go like this then you'll stay standing up and then the next thing is pressing E. You can kind of hear, let me, you can only do it when there is an enemy in sight and it puts a little red thing above their head. So it like kind of does that right there. Like your hand will, your hand will like kind of pop out and point. I'll do it again if I, there we go. And it marks them and you mark it for your whole team so when you mark someone your whole team can see that red that red dot so once you have all these down you should be able to move pretty well it's really just the basics i'm sure there's a couple more advanced things that i'm not aware of but yeah that's it for really moving the next thing is like knowing the maps so this just takes a little time for you to like play play more often because if you play more often then y'all just start to memorize the maps there's only a certain number of maps so if you spend enough time on playing all of them you should be able to memorize them pretty quickly but memorizing the maps can help you by like remembering what guns to pick and also um like knowing where the people are 
like, because there's only certain spawns in this game. You can't just spawn anywhere. So, like, for the phantoms, phantoms are red, and ghosts are orange. In, like, certain maps, they have um, spawn points. So, in a game, only certain teams can spawn in which spawn points. The next thing is really just knowing when to take cover. Like, right then, I probably should have taken cover because there's a lot of people shooting at me. But you have to know when to stop, like, actually fighting people and go back to retreat. And this is really helpful because it can save you, <laughs> it can literally save your life. So, yeah, pretty useful. But, yeah. Um, really the next thing, I'm not quite sure. Oh, grenades, yes, grenades. So, to throw a grenade, um, you press G. To hold the grenade in your hand, you just keep holding G. And when you throw it, if you cook it, if you just throw it, it will still have the same fuse time. So it will take five seconds to blow up. Like that. But if I cook it in my hand, then, like that, it will explode faster because I pulled the pin and I just kept it in my hand. This can be helpful for, oh, I'm actually out of grenades, but yeah, you only have three when you spawn in. But every time you die and respawn, you get three more. But also, another thing is wall banging, and I did not know who was there, but wall banging. So, certain guns have more penetration, so I'll try and get an example. So I shot there, and it might have gone through, I'm not quite sure though. Um, but I'll try, I'll try like this. So I shot that. Yeah, see, it doesn't go through. It's too, it's too thick. But, for thinner, like, surfaces, probably like this, because this is only, like, one layer of wood, you can see that the bullets go through. And I just died there, but it's okay. So that's basically wall bangs. So... With, like, a sniper, specifically, like, the BFG or the M107, which I don't have, but these are 50 caliber, so they're really strong guns, so let's see if I can... So, there's the bullet. Still didn't go through, but that's okay. See, even some guns can't go through, like, certain walls. So, yeah, you can see the bullet, it went through here and didn't go out the other side. But also, like this, you can see, well, most of the time that would go through, but I guess sometimes the thing doesn't show it. I guess there was a guy behind me. Did not even know that. But yeah. Oh, the next thing is picking up guns. So, if I can find a gun on the ground. Um, maybe over here, yeah. You can press V to pick it up, and now you can like pick up other people's weapon, and then I can pick mine back up and get it back. Also, changing fire, you can also press V for changing like your fire, the mode of fire. So like, let me get, yeah, down here, you can see this gun can shoot an auto, two shot burst, and semi. So. Right now, it's on default auto, and now, if I press B, you can see down in the um, right hand, in the bottom of the right hand screen, um, now I'm on burst, two shot burst. And again, different guns have different types of bursts, and then semi, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can only shoot one bullet per shot. If I turn back to auto, I'm back on auto. 
The next thing is um, T. So if you press T on guns like this that have like a downward sight, you can change your sight mode. Oh. So, like that. And also on like the AUG, like the AUGs that have like this little scope, you can do this little thing. You can put like 10 scopes on here. So if you get like, maybe like a VCOG scope, you can go T, which this is like a sniper scope by the way. Then you can press T again to switch down here. I cannot see. This is not good. Alright, well, GG. But, yeah. I'm trying to think of more things. Um. Well, I guess skins, but like, if you win a match or like your, your next login bonus, see so mines in three hours you'll get either a case or like a key and you can only get you can only unlock cases with the same key so i don't really have i don't have a keyboard case key so yeah i can't unlock any of these cases but i have quite a bit of skins you um certain cases have only certain skins and some Skins are customizable, like it says, customizable, 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 customizable. That means if you go in here, let me fix this. <laughs> if you go in your weapon skin slot and you equip the skin, it'll come up like this. And you'll be able to edit the brick color and like everything. You can change the material to make it like neon. Then to make it like more glowy, you go down to transparency and like crank it up. You can see how it like went like that. Or if you want a little more color to pop like that. So yeah, that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed and subscribe.